hello traders welcome back to my channel um, just a quick video to teach you how I caught a huge pips on the euro JPY um, so if you watch my previous videos you will see you will identify that I do not trade uh, support or resistance I actually use them um, to identify a good trading opportunity so um, on this Euro JPY one hour time frame, I'm going to show you how I took advantage of a, a stop hunt and got 123 pips out of the market. So what did I do? So first of all, I identified these equal lows. So these equal lows are your, um, so well basically, uh, this equal lows are our our support and the equal highs are what our resistance okay can you see how it ping ponged here uh inside this level okay or inside this zone so this is our range so you can call this a range yeah so this is this was our range and we had this up and down movement so when you see this you need to have a look you need to identify this kind of market structures it could be on the five minutes it could be on the 10 minutes it could be on the 15 daily weekly monthly it doesn't matter where it is it does not matter as long as you see this equal highs and equal lows mark them just mark them up okay so once you see this equal highs and lows so what you do is you identify your supply zones above the resistance and then below the support you identify your support sorry rather you identify your, your supply zones yeah so supply zones we had this drop we we'll base and then we we'll, we'll pushed up okay and then on the demand side of it is basically the opposite of the supply okay so we had this drop based and then we dropped okay so if you don't know what the supply or demand zones look like or what they are then drop me a message i'll be happy to to give you um some lessons on that but basically this is what you look for you look for the ranges or equal lows or equal highs and then you look for sub demand zone below the support and then supply zone above the resistance so why do you look for the supply and demand zones the reason why you do that is because below this support there are loads of stops so below this uh, support zone there are stops all piling up here because if you've bought here stops you go your stop goes below the the zone this is what we, we were taught this is what the textbook tells us to do okay you buy at support stop goes below support so support and resistance lines they do not work long term i keep saying this yes i'm not saying it doesn't work it worked here it worked there it worked here it worked here but it gets to it gets to a point when it stops working becomes because it becomes very very weak then it will break and when it breaks supply and demand traders will be looking to go against you know what the other what the retail traders are doing for example the retail traders are buying here and then they'll put their stops below here because why this worked here long 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 so they'll 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 think that it will work again and then they'll go long and put their stops below here and then what is below there is supply zone okay supply is below there so what happened is price comes back and tap the tap the supply zone which is this zone so it taps the supply zone and then we push up okay so when we push up where do you target you target the opposing zone supply zone can you see the market is currently reacting from this supply zone okay so the market is currently reacting at this zone so 
this was how we we got 123 pips out of this trade by knowing where to buy your stop will go below the supply uh, the demand zone rather okay and you target the next opposing zone which is supply this is how you should be trading do not trade the, sup the support and resistance zone on its own I'm not saying it doesn't work it worked here it worked there it worked there but again like I said before a time comes when it will stop working and then they use that zone as a stop hunt but this is what happened here well you call it stop hunt that's fine but we know that you know a demand and supply zones are where are where the market you know turns so the market turns at the demand zone and then heads up okay so watch my other videos and then you start understanding how the market moves and how to and what to look out for when you open your charts good trading guys take care bye bye